Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 619 of our trek, and it is time to continue our Mind Shift Monday series, which we began last week. The more I observe people, the more I consider and ponder creating a living legacy, the more I am convinced that much of life turns out exactly as we think it will. Your mind is powerful and can direct you toward a life of peace and success or a life of unrest, drama, and continued hardship. As a human designed to be God's image bearer, He has given you free will. As a human, you have the tremendous capacity to rationalize your behavior and actions and then convince yourself that it is truth based on what you allow yourself to think. In order to change your life, you must change how you think and what you think about. Each week, the focus of our Mind Shift Monday podcast and journal will be to provide you with practical ways to make a mind shift to a rich and satisfying life. Come along with me each Monday as we take our trek on the trails that will direct you to this destination. Of course, it is up to you to hike and complete the trails needed to make your mind shift. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. The two chicks in our Hawk family are growing rapidly, and I suspect that it will be not too many more weeks before they set out on their life of their own. The meal deliveries require that both parents are actively involved in much more frequent and larger portions of food. It is enjoyable watching these activities that are involved in caring and preparing for the young Hawks. We are blessed to have such a great view of these activities. With our grandkids out of school for the summer and Hazel's leukemia treatment set for once a week, our schedules are starting to settle into more of a routine. Our lives will never return to what they were previously, but that's okay because we realize that life is always in a pattern of constant change. Some changes are more dramatic as we are experiencing now, but with a proper mind shift, we can maintain a proper outlook on life. We are willing to invest whatever time is needed to pour into our children and grandchildren's lives as part of our living legacy. The impact that we have on their lives each day is the only thing that will truly pass on to them through the generations to come. All of us go through experiences that will bring us joy and cause us sorrow. You must learn to change with the seasons of life just as you change with the seasons of the year. Expect it and prepare for it. You must first prepare your mind before you can prepare and impact your world. A powerful mind shift that most of us need reinforced in our lives is that of compassion and care for others. This begins by changing the way you think about compassion, especially to those who are less fortunate than you are. Since your thinking has such an impact on your life and consequently on the lives of others that you impact, you need to know how to think properly and what to think about. So on our track for today, we will consider how you get to the place where you can say, I couldn't care more. How many lives are wasted and destroyed because the world's attitude and actions toward people that are in need shout to them, I couldn't care less. How much better would the world be if these attitudes and actions were replaced in your life and the lives of others where we reach the point of saying, I couldn't care more. In order to change the world, you must think differently than the world. The only way that this will happen is if you change the way you think about those who are less fortunate. The fundamental step as a Christ follower is to let God transform you as he taught us in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know what God's will is for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. It certainly is possible for two people to view the same situation and see it entirely differently depending on their mindset. If you're going to say to the world, I couldn't care more, then you must open your eyes to look for the hurting people. You must go to where they are. This is what we see in the example that Jesus showed us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 35 through 38, where it says, Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. When God changes the way you think, you will experience a mind shift which will open your eyes to see opportunities in every area of your life. Jesus was concerned that people see the hurts of humanity and respond with compassion. 
Too many times we, like the disciples, see only the problems of people, or we might even say that we see people as problems. You feel the frustrations of their failures and the weight of their weaknesses. You have enough problems of your own, and you don't feel like you have enough strength to deal with the weaknesses of others. When you allow God to change the way you think, you gain strength that you do not realize that you have. It's easy to forget that helping others many times, it will result in helping yourself. The Apostle Paul taught us in Romans chapter 15 verses 1 through 3 these principles. We who are strong must be considerate of those who are sensitive about these things. We must not just please ourselves. We should help others to do what is right and build them up in the Lord. For even Christ didn't live to please himself. As the scriptures say, The insults of those who insult you, O God, has fallen on me. If you say to your neighbor and others that you associate, I couldn't care more. You must open your heart to allow love for others, even when they are unlovely. Paul tells us again in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 3, If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. It is not only about giving more material things. Any relief agency can do that. While material things are needed in certain situations, they are a poor substitute for love and understanding. Most people don't need more things. They need more tenderness. As Christ followers, we should stop copying the customs and behaviors of the world and let God transform us by changing the way we think. In doing so, our lives will start to show the fruit of the Spirit, which is listed in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. What will it take for you to reach a place where you can truthfully say, I couldn't care more. I know I certainly need to work on my mind shift in this area of my life. With these things in mind, we will conclude our trek for today and let us ponder if our lives reflect the fruit that is listed above. If not, then continue your mind shift by allowing God to continue to change the way you think. It is then that you'll be able to live the rich and satisfying life that is available to each of us. Next week, we will continue on Mind Shift Monday, and on our trek for tomorrow, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you for joining me on this trek that we call life. Encourage your friends and family to join us, and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the daily journal, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe on iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, and to others generously lead with integrity and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.